Hello and welcome to the Makers Needle Felted Earth tutorial. It's going to be uh, unusual in that we are changing the format slightly. You can't see me, but it's Steffi here from the Makers, and I will be showing you how to needle felt um, a ball that you can decorate with the continents and with the oceans to make an earth. And we are we are doing this in. Um, on International Earth Day, so um, but you can do this anytime because we all need to treasure the earth and hold really tight to it, which is what we have been doing um, for the last two years in particular by using our earth-friendly felting mat instead of any foam mat. So we've got rid of all of our foam mats. This is a hundred percent top here, um, which is uh, compostable, and the base one is 70% wool, 30% man-made fiber, which should never have to be replaced. But if you want to take it to a complete extreme, you can also use our eco wool mat, which um, again, they're used in as a set, one top, one bottom, but both of them are the same and they're made from recycled wool and they can be 100% composted if you don't need them anymore. I will be using this one here today and I'm making the earth with the help of wool, so it's 100% natural fiber. And um, I show you the tools that you need, but the trick around all of this is that I'm using water soluble paper to help me with the shaping of the different um, continents. So first of all, the tools that you will need are um, a single needle. Um, if you have nothing else, then a single needle will be great, which um, is um, a coarse needle. Um, and then you will need Potentially, you don't need it necessarily, but you can use a multi-tool such as the three-needle multi-tool. We also do the slightly posher version, which is the clover one. Now, the clover one has an extra um, benefit in that if you take the front off, you have um, the longer length of the needles exposed, which works particularly well if you need to felt needle felt into the core to make the initial round shape of the ball really nice and tight. Um, again, these just um, work for speed. Or you can have a multi-tool. Uh, this is the prim handle. It doesn't come with needle needles, this one. I've loaded it up with medium needles. You can also use any of the multi-tools um, that have got a wooden handle. This one is ergonomically really nice because you can fit it in the palm of your hand and then just felt up and down without having to um, sort of keep your fingers really tight. It has an extra... Um, benefit too that it has got a single needle tool that sort of hides away inside here so if you find it more comfortable to hold on to a handle when you have a single tool a uh, single needle then this is um, perfect for that too. I'm also using this one here which is a five um, needle tool that's another one made by Clover and um, it's got this retractable, retractable shield and again it is really great to uh, use for um, speed and for neatness so you get a nice smooth finish but we're definitely starting out with um, a single needle. You also need a good quality core wool. Now um, I can recommend our uh, white Shetland wool or maybe the Gotland white or the New Zealand white um, and you need 40 grams. A 40 gram amount of white wool makes a, um, a ball shape that is about 8 centimeters in um, diameter or about 25 7.5 centimeters in, um, in circum circumference. I always say that word wrong. Circumference, that's the word, sorry. And um, and then you start by making uh, a ball. Now I've started to roll this in and, um, and you build layer upon layer and then you start felting it down. And I'll show you in a minute a little bit more about it. I have chosen two colors to um, to decorate the ball. The um, blue is the medium blue New Zealand Merino that we sell and the green is the lichen green mountain sheep. You can of course choose different colors especially if you want to um, not just stick to green for the continents but add different colors into it like orange and yellow depending on the vegetation on, on the different continents and whether they're in um, hot or cold. I've just used the only different color I've used is the is white for the Antarctica on, on, on the globe that I've made earlier. So starting out, you use your white 
core wall and oh maybe i should just tell you that you need some water soluble paper as well so these 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 are the water soluble paper packs that we sell they come in large 100 by 90 centimeters or a smaller one which is 40 by 90 centimeters you don't need any longer than um 27.5 centimeters or let's say 30 centimeters with a, with a little bit of leeway on either side because what you will be doing is you're using a template this template is available to download from our website um, which is uh, 27 and a half centimeters long from here to there and you're going to draw onto the water soluble paper um, by following the lines that are obviously on that template so um, that is basically what you need and this is no more than um, 12 centimeters deep so 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters will do you comfortably one of these um, templates you do have to cut around the whole shape but of course you've got the continents um, marked here use a pencil that's the other thing you need. You need a pencil. A soft pencil works better than a, a hard pencil. And you need some scissors, obviously, to cut your um, shape out from the water soluble paper. Um, and I will also say that I had a slight panic earlier that if you're using your template, then use it so that the, the pencil marks are on the front. Don't turn it around or you're going to make a Im mirror image um, a, 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 Earth, which um, I was initially worried that I had been doing that because I got slightly confused. But um, yes, definitely where the stronger lines are, that is the top. Don't use a felt tip pen to, to uh, draw on water soluble paper for the obvious reason. It dissolves, though we're not going to dissolve it at all, but it will dissolve if you use um, a felt tip pen. Right. Um, so with the um, with a white wool, you start by rolling it into a, a, a as tight a ball as you can. So really do... Um, roll this up as much as you can and then um, as you go along you start felting it down and felting it down and add more and more layers until your ball looks like this so you're just stabbing away um, you can use your multi-tools at this already get your multi-tools working because they do definitely speed things up and as i said earlier with this particular tool you can even take out the um take off the top part of it and it will go deeper inside it's actually quite dense the core so i even though i'm trying to stab it in as much as i can the challenge for you will be to um make this a nice round ball and it needs to be really solidly felted now as i said 40 grams of wool will make you a nice solid round ball of um eight centimeter diameter and um, there is a trick that I, I haven't used but that you could use is by needle felting this ball into um, a relatively firm shape and then putting it in the washing machine and wash it in a hot wash and that will um, do the shrinking for you. You have to, you might have to sort of adjust a few unevennesses afterwards and sometimes little flaps of, of um, wool can come off. You might have to cut them off and add um, a, another layer over it to smooth it down. But if you have got the willpower and the strength, then do stop um, your ball from scratch. And as soon as you felt it down a, a layer, you can then roll more wool around it. And, um, and build it up bit by bit. So don't make this ball in, uh, one, in one go all together because you have a lot of felting to do. Just take your time by felting it down. And um, that should make you a nice, even round shape um, to have the perfect base for starting out when you um, start with your, with your template. So I'm just going to finish stabbing this down it de definitely if you look at the uh, finished um, shape here it's really hard to bet to push it in so there's very little give in that it's it's a nice solid solid shape whereas this one still needs a little bit of um, felting down so whilst I'm doing this I'll just tell you a little bit more what um, what else we're doing for the environment we're not just changing away from foam mats we have been trying very hard to keep our kits plastic free they do come in nice craft boxes um, which which can be recycled and um, the, the wool itself obviously is a natural fiber so that can also be put in the compost 
people put it uh, into their vegetable beds if you've got some leftover or you accumulate lots of little little um, bits of wool birds love it if you leave it out for them they pinch it from your garden fence or from your porch to build nests so that's something nice to do for the earth as well if you help the birds and um, of course you can um, use um, little scraps of wool also to make a solid core by um by using them inside where you where you can't actually see so you could i could have inside here this shape i could have had lots of scraps of wool to um to use them up too as a business we have been using renewable energy for a long time it's one of the things that we're proud of we rather pay a little bit more but make sure that it's green energy um, we recycle at our workplace, so we don't um, just chuck everything in the same bin. We make sure that we uh, can recycle as much as we can and we reuse packaging whenever we can um, as well. So if you end up with a box that has got some bubble wrap in it, I can guarantee you we haven't bought it. We have probably received something wrapped in bubble wrap and have um, reused it. So um, that's how we um, try and make our contribution to um keeping the planet um healthy green and um hopefully you will help us to make that contribution so if you buy a kit from us it has got our eco wool mat inside um and if you um want to sort of invest in a long term needle felting career then definitely get your um then definitely get your earth mat it comes in different um sizes so you get it in A6, which is the smallest, the postcard size. You can get it in A5, which is what I'm using, A4, which is um, the next size up. And um, and then we have some larger sizes as well. Um, sometimes we have really, really big ones in stock, like large square ones. They're about, they're over 30 by 30 centimeters. Um, so over 12 inches long and wide. When you've made your ball nice and um, solid, um, then you're going to start by laying out the water soluble paper over the top. Now, because you need to somehow anchor it down, I happen to know that Africa, um, oh, well, everybody knows that, that's where the equator, it runs sort of through halfway um, Africa. And so what I, I'm doing is um, I'm, I'm actually putting a little green patch in here already. So you're needle felting straight into the water soluble soluble paper and I'm uh, using um, my coarse needle for this just a single coarse needle in fact that's not a coarse needle at all let's try that one ah that's better grip and um, and that will sort of just make sure that it, it doesn't slip up and down at the moment and then I'm going right to the other side where the two parts meet and I'm going to put a little bit of blue there because that is actually ocean what you might find is in the in the um, process of making the planet that sometimes it gets a little bit confusing what is green and what is blue um, you just have to sort of maybe look again at your original template to remind you what are the continents and what is the ocean especially when you've got sort of little bits of land that um, are floating around and uh, what you could do is you could also of course color this in beforehand and then you've got a very clear visual aid um, and then you can find reference points on your um, on your on your um, needle felted um, earth that you got right in front of you, and then it's just a um, um, a question of coloring it in. You will get creases, um, so don't worry too much about that. So when you bring the Antarctica together there, it does crinkle up a little bit, but you just ignore that and just felt over it. And um, and I will be doing this now, um, so you might see. Um, me jumping, not me personally jumping, but just my project jumping to the next stage. So what you've seen me do is that I have been um, ignoring the bits of paper when it got wrinkled or when there were gaps between the water soluble paper and the wool ball underneath and I've just literally felt it over the top so it's not um, 
Um, some of the continents might be slightly displaced, but as I'm saying, it is not a, an identical um, to scale replication of the Earth. It will look just right for what we need, but if you um, feel that this is, is, is not precise enough, then you might have to do this in a different way. But um, the water soluble paper definitely works, putting them roughly into the place where they need to be. And of course, you can smooth down the wool much, much more later on as well. Let's just get it all into place. What I will suggest is if you've got smaller islands that you don't want to miss out, then do felt these down, maybe even a little bit bigger than they are, and then surround them with the water afterwards rather than putting the water um, down first, put the blue down first, put the green down first so that you know they're important not to be missed and um, and then surround them with blue which is a little bit more detailed work that you might have to do but that is um, totally possible to do that way around rather than adding the blue down first and I'm just going to work my way around the whole of the shape just putting little bits down. Um, for this work, I'm using my coarse needle. For the larger areas, um, whether it's um, um, land or whether it's the ocean, you can still use your multi-tools. That extra crunching is where the water-soluble paper is probably sort of slightly folded up underneath. But by the time we have finished this, you will not know that there's water-soluble paper underneath it. So. I don't think there is any need to dissolve the paper unless you wish then you can just submerge the ball into wool into water even and um, and let the water soluble paper dissolve and then it's completely gone once it's dry you might just have to go over it again a little bit in case something's happened when the water was dissolved but other than that the water soluble paper should be completely uh, you can see there's a little flap here and I'm ignoring that I'm literally just covering that now with blue and um, ignoring that there is another fabric underneath between the ball and the layer that I'm adding so I just keep working my way around the whole of the earth So this is um, pretty much done now. I will be honest, I think I've swallowed up a few little islands in the making and um, the proportions are definitely not true to um, the real thing, but it's definitely recognizable as, as the earth. And um, you can, these white bits here, they're accidental, you can um, cover them up with more blue and if you want to you could build up the continents so that they're slightly thicker so they're slightly more um, off the whole shape rather than um, at the moment they're quite flat so I have used not, not even um, well just over half of the amount of wool so you will probably need more like five to seven grams um, to use 10 grams would probably be pushing it and of course you would use slightly more blue than green unless you build up the continents so that they um, they're a little bit more 3d on the whole of the globe what I um, I have started doing is this I'm coloring the Antarctica in in white um, which um, so I'm, I'm doing it and I'm uh, even though it's not entirely white I'm just going to leave a little bit of green showing I know it's not um, physically correct but um, it sort of gives you a good idea that this is not um, meant to be uh, a green land but it's basically just all snow and ice 
So, um, and on, on globes, you often see that area colored in as well. And um, I've done this at the beginning. That's just a little tip right at the beginning. I did that straight away so that I um, I knew that that was my, my sort of anchor point at the bottom and then the rest turns up at the top. And there you go. There is the earth ready to, um, to do whatever you want to do with it. You could do a whole solar system. Maybe you can do the um, different planets to the sun and the moon. You can do the different sizes. Now you know how to needle felt a round shape and color it in. Um, use the water soluble paper as I did. I would have been extremely confused without having some sort of um, guideline of what, what goes where. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. We are, um, the, um, the template to make this will be available. And the, the size of this has definitely shrunk down a little bit more. It's a lot firmer with adding the surfaces onto, onto the top, coloring it in. So happy Earth Day, everybody from the bakers.